Should you buy a home now or should you wait? You know, that's really a great question. And given what the Fed did this week, I'm sure that's something a lot of buyers are thinking about. You know, in real estate, we talk an awful lot about interest rates because they affect everything. But I'd like to challenge your preconceived notion about interest rates and show you why even as home prices are higher and interest rates are going up, if you're wanting to make a move in the next five years, now is the time to act. First, let's talk about buying power. Buying power is the total amount of money you have available each month for a mortgage payment. You know, any money that you've saved for a down payment, the proceeds from the sale of a previous home if applicable, and the amount of money you're qualified to borrow all impact your buying power. This means that as interest rates go up, you'll spend the same amount of money for less of a house. See, when people talk about interest rates, we usually think that increased rates equal a higher monthly payment. And while that is definitely true, let's flip this on its head and start with your current budget for a mortgage payment. If you begin here and work backwards, you can get a sense of how powerful interest rates can be when determining the amount of house you can afford. So take a look at this example, and let's start to the right side of this table, and say you have a monthly budget of around $1,900 for a mortgage payment. With a similar down payment and an increase of just 1% of the interest rate, you would lose an additional $50,000 in buying power. And as we look at interest rates over the last 40 years, we see that even though rates are going up, they're still sitting well below the average of the last several decades. So if you're a buyer, that means that right now, you'll get more house for your budget than you would likely get in the next five years. Plus, if you're currently renting or waiting longer to purchase, that means paying more to your landlord versus building equity for yourself. Finally, if you're a seller, just know that your pool of buyers is still large enough to net you great proceeds on your home. However, if interest rates continue to rise over the next five years, which looks extremely likely, your pool of buyers will become smaller. As much as people hate to hear it, it's unlikely home prices are coming down dramatically anytime soon. Prices will most likely level off and stop rising so quickly, but a significant drop in price is not likely. What is happening and will continue happening is a rise in interest rates. As those rates go up over the next few years, it means buyers will simply be able to afford less house and there will be fewer buyers around for the sellers. Want to chat about your personal situation? Shoot me a text, an email, leave me a comment. All of my information is down in the description box below. And let's figure out what works best for you. By the way, my name is Peggy Durstoff, and I'm a realtor with HomeSmart here in the Denver metro area, and I specialize in suburban living. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. This way, each week when I post another video, you'll be in the know about our great neighborhoods and the local real estate market. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.